The panel will be watching the hover and monitoring the cockpit from inside the hangar. Derek walks like a big, strong guy. Like he's got sort of a, a swagger to the way he walks. 27-year-old Derek will be put to the test by Tamsin Evans, who's been an instructor for 10 years. Well, you should sit and relax for the minute, yes, yes. Part of you. Yeah, precisely. <laughs> I'm starting with this test for two reasons. One, because the skill set of the astronauts that NASA are choosing right now includes helicopter flying, same as we're putting our candidates through here. And two, because it's hard. This is gonna be a complex test of mental capacity, technical ability, and of nerve. Derek is in charge of safety at nuclear power stations. He's fluent in three languages and has a black belt in judo. But like the rest of the candidates, he's never flown a helicopter before. Oh, look at he's got his game face on now. Yeah. I'm competitive when I take part in a challenge. I'd like to win and I want to I want to make sure I get the best out of myself. They've each been given 15 minutes to master three controls: foot pedals, the hand lever, and the cyclic. Right, what I'd like you to do is pop your feet on the pedals for me. You're gonna start sure. off on the pedals. The pedals move the chopper left or right. The lever moves it up and down. These are people that are not used to failing. Some of them will never get it. And so it'll be revealing how they deal with it. The hardest control, the cyclic, moves the helicopter across the ground. Cyclic controls our position over the ground. Only if Derek can master the cyclic Will he be allowed to attempt all controls at once? So I'd like you to keep us in this position. Yeah. You have control of the cyclic only. I have control. <laughs> you have and control. I have control. The cyclic is the most sensitive of the three controls. The slightest touch makes all the difference. OK. Delay. Yeah. Thing. Gotcha. Sensitive. Yeah, yeah. Here you have control of the cyclic. I have control. On. So there is no real progress? No. I think as soon as you start thinking about it too much, she seems to be losing it. So I have control. Not getting much progress from my behalf. <laughs> right, what we'll do is we'll head back. Time's up. He never calibrated on that cyclic, did he? Having failed to get as far as trying all three controls together, Derek didn't hold a full hover. You could sense the frustration within him at yeah, the end. Yeah, you really could. I could have done a lot better. Although you kind of know what you're doing wrong, for some reason it doesn't click what you should be doing in order to make that better. Not all the candidates are new to the art of flying. Kerry is a pilot in the RAF. Through the original astronauts that were chosen by NASA, we're all pilots, so hopefully my military and aviation background might stand me in good stead. Kerry quickly masters each of the controls individually. So that's rock steady. She's oh. quite relaxed. She's totally got this. Look at that. It's brilliant. Just to see how you get on, I'm yeah. going to give you all three controls now. You have all the controls. I have all the controls. She's got all of them now. Let's start the clock uh, and let's see how she goes. Kevin is timing how long each candidate can hold the hover before Tamsin has to intervene. This is pretty good. The comfort of her experience in the cockpit is helping her, I think. A lot of the stuff is familiar. Crazy, isn't it? It's brilliant. Oh, yes. Kerry managed a full hover for 24 seconds. 